Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to Mel Did It Herself. Today I am tackling some farmhouse style chairs for a kitchen table or a dining room table. I came across these on garbage day when I was doing a walk around the block and one of my neighbors was giving them away, which was perfect. It was a rainy day and I think they might have been out overnight. So there's a little bit of water damage that you can see on the tops, um, but the rest seems to be pretty good. There's a little bit of wear that we're gonna paint over, but I definitely wanna keep some of this natural wear um, just kind of as part of the character of the chair. So we'll see how I decided to do that. But otherwise there's no major repairs that needed to be done. So that was awesome. And we're gonna see what fun things we can do with them. The beginning of every project calls for a good deep clean. I'm using TSP and some shop towels, which is a heavy duty degreaser to get all of the dirt and grease and anything that might be on these chairs. I recommend this at the beginning of any project, but especially if you're getting it from, you know, a household that you don't necessarily know um, because it's pre-loved, there might be some dirt and germs and all that good stuff. So. We want to make sure that that is off and that we have a good surface to start off from. So after I spray the TSP, wipe it down thoroughly. I'm also going to give it a wipe with some water and let it dry. But you can see there's always more than you think on those chairs. They didn't look that dirty, but they were really, really dirty and greasy and grimy. So make sure you take the time to do this step. You will thank yourself later. Trust me. I decided to go two-toned on these chairs and I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do um, when I first started tackling them, but I knew I was gonna paint the base and the seat as well as kind of like the backrest and the two um, pillars on each end and then would keep the center pillars plain, um, keep that wood as is and then for the base i didn't decide at this point whether i wanted to paint the legs and leave the center or paint the center and leave the legs so i decided to just start out by painting the top portion seeing how it looked and then let myself decide paint that I'm using for this is Rust-Oleum Chalked. I picked it up at Home Depot and the color is white linen. And because it's a pretty thick paint, um, I am periodically watering down my, my paintbrush. And as well, um, it is a water-based paint, so I'm able to wipe away any uh, paint that I get on those middle spindles as well, which has been helpful. A word to the wise, I would definitely recommend if you're going to be doing a two-toned piece like this to tape off those spindles because otherwise you're going to end up with little white paint pieces on the edges there. The way I went about this was just with Q-tips, kind of wetting them and going in, but it was very tedious and I definitely think you would get a better crisper line if you just taped it off. So I decided that I'm going to leave the legs um, wooden like how they are now and I'm gonna paint the spindles on the inside there you can see after a few coats of paint how well the coverage was and I will be sure to put a top coat on these two because I want them to last when they're getting a lot of wear and tear this is how they turned out after I painted the spindles at the bottom there on the base. You could definitely go the opposite way and paint the, you know, the legs and leave the center that I painted plain. Um, that's obviously an option. And I went back and forth between it, trying to decide what I wanted to do, but ultimately this is what I decided. So I'm just going through and making sure that I have a good solid coverage on the bottom as well just 
so that it looks nice from all angles. <laughs> and you can see Kristen McGowan in the background doing some IKEA storage videos. I always like to watch other YouTubers when I'm doing my painting or I listen to podcasts a lot of the time too. To seal everything in, I'm using this General Finishes High Performance Flat Matte Water-Based Top Coat. You want to make sure not to use oil-based because it could yellow. And this is what they ended up looking like once I did a couple coats of the top coat and I lightly sanded with a high grit sandpaper in between to make sure there was no like lines, like paintbrush lines and things like that, just making sure it was a smooth finish. A reminder of what we started out with. And this is how they turned out. I'm super happy with how they turned out. I think they're farmhousey, but a little bit different. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, I'd love if you would like and subscribe, comment below, and you can follow me on Instagram for more flips at Mel Did It Herself. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Bye.